Okay, here we have a Faraday's Law question where we have a conducting loop here on the left-hand side that's going to travel to the right with a uniform velocity to a region that has a uniform magnetic field. And we need to, to write or see which plot best represents the current through the loop. And in order to do this, uh, we need to remember that Faraday's law tells us that the EMF is minus d phi dt. So it's really the change in flux that's going to give us an EMF. And so I'm going to immediately eliminate this A and D because here you see a large current represented when the loop is all the way in the magnetic field. And when the loop's all the way in the magnetic field, the flux is not changing. It'll be It'll be a large flux, but it won't be changing. So A and B actually representing the flux through the loop. Well, the other thing we need to figure out then is the direction of that current um, that's induced. And we know, one thing we should know is that the direction of the induced current is going to be different as it enters than when it leaves. So that means C is not going to work. So the last thing I need to do is figure out what is the direction. As it comes in here, is the induced current going to be in the positive, well, is it going to be in the, uh, let's see, a positive loop corresponds to a counterclockwise current. So let's say, is it going to be going counterclockwise, let's say that is positive, or clockwise? And here what I do is I'll say, what I want to do is I'm starting with no flux out, out here. So the flux is zero. Here I have a flux that's, in the second case, I have flux going into the page. So I want to create some flux going out of the page. And in order to get flux out of the page, I use my right hand. That means I would need a current this way. So I think D should be the correct answer. Let's see if that agrees. Lots of text coming up here. And yes, in fact, D is the correct answer.